everyone, Keith Olson here. Today we're checking out the inflatable costume for Venom. Oh, it's tight costume. <laughs> yeah, the, the mouth is right here. It's just not really much room at all in it. No visibility is just this uh, strip. I mean, it's it's kind of like a visor. I mean, I guess I I can do all the do all the poses and everything for for Spider-Man or Venom, but just because it's really, really tight. Looks like a pro wrestler. Luchador Moving around, it's not really any, anything. I mean, it's not weighing me down or anything. Yeah, it's just way too tight for me to, to get the vision from, uh, from inside the costume on video. It's just a, a little bit of, puffy in the, the chest area here and I was like I think it probably could have almost just been the uh, the pants with an inflatable top on it because yeah, I, I can't look down and uh, see anything because it's it's just really tight right here but I can I can feel the fan blowing I think probably the worst part is just getting it put on and waiting for it to inflate still need a kind of lift it up a bit in, in order for it to get it full height so it does weigh down a little bit. Well, the, here's the, the back of it. You can see the flaps kind of conceal the zipper. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to pull my arms in and do anything. Okay, go and get me out. So with, with this costume, just say right up, uh, it's, it's all right as soon as I get done, it's just really really cramped and tight start off with the the zipper right here right here there's no way a single person can get this on by themselves you will need assistance from the zipper of the waist all the way up to the top of the head here but the but the additional flaps of fabric will conceal the zipper starting off with the, the head it's pretty decently detailed and with the screen fabric printing it you can tell I got this new and it's already rubbing off so it's not the highest quality nice crazy looking eyes here the vision port is right here inside the middle of the mouth and the floppy droopy tongue here the exaggerated muscles all the way down my hand does fit all the way through the hand for the costume here. I see I can stick my hand in all the figures and everything. And because of that, it's it does kind of weigh down on you after a while. Go down the the waist here is pretty much tight around where your waist is going to be. So you can't really see anything. Look down to the feet of the floppy foot issue. Pretty much if you're wearing black, I don't think it'll really matter too much. You wear black shoes. There's an orange fan that if you have extras, you could probably just switch that out for a black fan so that hides better. The hardest part of this is actually getting the costume on and getting it off. You have to wait until someone zips or unzips the entire length of the zipper and uh, yeah, it's not really the most comfortable thing. I think I'd much prefer dinosaurs over this but you know, if, if you got someone to help you out get a, a spider-man costume you can have someone do that and you can come in and do a, a dual cosplay as Venom. You will need a spotter for this one because the visibility is really pretty slim on it. 
you know, looking around and everything, it, it, it seems like a decent costume, probably not the, the greatest. I'm sure they could have made it a little bit bigger. Venom is supposed to be something like three feet taller than a regular person or something. Could have easily uh, exaggerated a, a bit more. Made it a little easier to get in and out of. I'd say uh, three out of five on this one. It had potential, but with the comfort and the claustrophobics and everything, it will be all right for some people, definitely not for others, and definitely extremely restrictive on the size of the person in it. It's like I'm five nine, and it can it can barely fit me. So uh, anyone bigger than I am probably wouldn't be able to fit too well. So let me know what you think and uh, till next time, take care.